record. So we're going to record this uh, webcast. Uh, and uh, today I'm going to be talking about our uh, really new technology. We we introducing all kinds of new robots uh, where we have a combination of fundamental and technical analysis. Okay. My name is Sergei Savastyuk. I have a PhD in applied mathematics. I used to teach at Santa Clara University uh, some applied math classes. Uh, now I'm leading this uh, um, startup, uh, Tikiron, to help uh, primary retail investors and hedge funds to make uh, really good trades. Okay, So what's going on right now is that uh, quite a lot of trades made by algorithms. Okay. Uh, and that's where you up to against quite a lot of professionals if you trade, okay? Uh, the trading is a such thing that uh, it's emotional. So the most main advice uh, used to be like, uh, kind of try to become as robotic as possible, right? Uh, but uh, instead of being robotic, uh, it's better to use robots, okay? So today, what I'm gonna cover, uh, I'm pretty much going to give you a story how we develop all kinds of different robots. Okay, so it's pretty much going to be history uh, with the overview of our main tools and how we approached uh, creation of uh, robots. Okay, and at the end, I will tell you and show you how to select uh, robots with the technical analysis, fundamental analysis. So T stands for technical analysis, FA for fundamental analysis, okay? Uh, <clears throat> so we do create robots for both, like uh, for day traders, swing traders, investors, uh, trading intraday if it is done and then people typically in and out of all positions within the day uh, they call themselves day traders swing traders those who kind of uh, hold the positions for like one two three days uh week uh, two weeks okay okay so um let me tell you how we created the first generation of AI robots based on technical analysis, okay? So we primarily looked at all kinds of uh, technical aspects, like uh, you might know indicators. Uh, everyone knows indicators, but they, are, they do not have enough of a predictive power, okay? So then we created uh, engines which uh, go to the market and find, for instance, like patterns. Uh, you can find, let's say, medical patterns. Uh, so we found stock patterns. So for instance, patterns like with ECG have uh, shapes, right? So when you have a particular shapes for medical uh, purposes or for driving purposes, then we pretty much develop a way of finding patterns. And then with the concept of breakouts, we develop uh, uh, like AI algorithm with finding these patterns. And then this one is called like uh, uh, breakaways, okay? So a lot of uh, uh, popular patterns, okay? So for instance, head and shoulders, uh, bottom, bullish, right? So what it means it is a head, a couple of shoulders, and this is a breakout, okay? So what our engine does is finding these uh, patterns on the intraday basis uh, or on a daily basis, and then predicts uh, when and how far uh, it's gonna go up, for instance, in this case. And uh, um, we find in the breakouts, we find in the patterns, and we find in the target price, and then we publish it, okay? So finding patterns is uh, kind of a, nowadays is a doable job, uh, but uh, what is interesting, this is also head and shoulder, okay? And uh, uh, let's say this is also head and shoulder, right? But this is uh, for the uh, bearish type of a direction, okay? So that's clearly a couple of uh, shoulders and the head, right? And uh, all kinds of shapes uh, gives, uh, 
give us different predictions. Okay, what's the target price, right? So if you have this shape, what about this shape? And then you might have uh, uh, different results. So that's that's what we do, okay? Uh, when we start the engines, okay? So then we analyze, uh, after we kind of discover these patterns, all kinds of patterns, then we look and do the back testing. So we see, okay, uh, what is back testing? It's a calculating odds of success. So for instance, this is a very simple pattern, right? So let's see, uh, let's say 12 months ago, we found one success. This one tried, but failed. Success, success, three out of four, 75% odds of success, okay? Uh, so then what we do, we not only find in the patterns, that's what typically other people do. They typically find the pattern and say, okay, here's the pattern. Okay, but we also do the back test analysis and then present the results. Okay, so we have all kinds of uh, patterns uh, like cup and handle. We find them, we test them on the different time frames. Uh, and this is a bearish pattern. So the the uh, all, all kinds of patterns. Like let's say rising tenants, right? Uh, so let me show you a tool. Okay. Um, let's go here and then in order to look at let's say uh, pattern search engine or real time patterns let's go to the real time patterns okay so this is an engine which gives you a uh, feed we find in these patterns on a different time frame. So what you can do in order to create kind of your own engine you can say that <coughs> I want to create like for five, 15 minutes time frames, confidence level, minim minimum 50%, uh, 50%, uh, profit target is let's say minimum 3%, okay? Safe. And that way now it's going to go and find uh, these patterns. You see, current confidence, um, when to enter, when to exit, and profit target six percent okay pretty, pretty good deal right so this is uh, all patterns uh as you can see all of them are um uh, pattern types okay let's look at the pattern types. so we selected here all bullish patterns and all bearish patterns okay so what we can do is actually uh click on click and then select these different types okay so uh, as you can see, it's a pure technical analysis. And then when we, uh, as you find in this uh, kind of channels, and it's kind of sophisticated stuff. Uh, so what, what, what really happened when we created these engines, people continued to ask, okay, how do you use it? I made presentations, people use the engines, but still wanted to have a, a Kind of us to show how we use it okay and that's what was that's where we ended up with the first generation of AI robots okay uh which are based only on technical analysis on patterns on trends on all our engines okay so what we did we created this type of uh, patterns uh and then created the robots, okay? So you see mm, how to use this. Uh, it's pretty much, you see, if I click here, this is all robots which are created based on the uh, technical analysis, okay? So what are those lines? Those lines are, um, equity lines we call it so that means how well the gains uh generated by these uh robots okay so if you want to have a description you click on the description and here is a really kind of full disclosure of what is based on okay and sometimes it's on the pattern sometimes on trends sometimes on the indicators but, uh, uh, and then this one is actually takes only, you see, five positions, okay? And based on the technical analysis, you see this is at the very end, okay? 
So then you can look at the main stats. Okay, main stats, uh, you see here generated a profit factor 1.6, which is really good. Uh, it means almost uh, uh, two thirds of uh, uh, trades are uh, pretty much in uh, a positive territory. And uh, uh, you can look and, and read that. Okay, so you can say, okay, I like that. So then you view details, you click here. And now you see what you see, open trades, closed trades, uh, pending orders and the closed trades, p &Ls, okay? So you see it's kind of positive on the open. Uh, let's look at the uh, closed trades. So uh, it's kind of in and out, it's not bad. And then you can look and analyze deeper this line. Uh, the, the, the columns are uh, kind of positions were taken. Uh, you see the this uh, fewer, fewer, fewer trades, uh, profit factor 1.6. And uh, uh, as you can see, uh, average trade duration is two days, okay? So what, what really happened, we took our engines and then started showing the trades, okay? As if it is your brokerage account, okay? Our ultimate goal is to create a uh, connection to the your brokerage accounts. But here we're just doing this uh, modeling and, uh, uh, and, and then really showing you our results, okay? So the second, what we did, we created robots based on a fundamental analysis, okay? There is not a lot of them uh, because at the end, pure fundamental analysis uh, was uh, actually kind of a, um, was a little bit more difficult, was kind of more for in, uh, investors, okay? So let me show you in, in, in my presentation. So where we are, uh, so we started creating a second generation of robots based on the fundamental analysis, okay? And primarily use was uh, our another engine a screener, okay? So what we did, uh, we look at our screener. So we created our screener. Uh, with the lower of uh, pre-calculated data. Okay, what it means? It means we look at the different uh, criteria. For instance, valuation. You can find undervalued, overvalued stock. Okay, profit factor uh, versus uh, risk, uh, price growth, like seasonality score, and other things. Okay, and then uh, based on 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 that, we started publishing our sometimes contradictive analysis, right? Uh, and then we uh, did similar thing in our uh, technical analysis. So we look at different indicators like stochastic, RSI, RUN, MACD, momentum, Bollinger Band, moving averages, okay? And as you can see, sometimes they are green, sometimes they are red. So how to read that, that means the, the signal was four days ago and the odds of success with the back testing uh, 64% on the MACD, okay? So then when we created this uh, uh, screener, people ask, uh, started asking us, okay, what is a, a really a, a kind of aggregated opinion of you, uh, what you guys are creating? So we started publishing daily signals, okay? This is a strong buy. Why it is all strong buys? Because if I go here, you see I selected uh, a strong buy. I can say, okay, I want to only buy, apply filter, you see? And then now I have uh, uh, all this. Why it is only three? Because market cap, I can make it any, okay? Apply filter. Okay, and, and now I have all kinds of buy uh, stocks, which are a daily signals. So they are not intraday type of analysis. But they are really uh, results of uh, analysis, actually both uh, fundamental and technical analysis, okay? But they are daily, okay? Uh, and, and then 
when we combine the knowledge, uh, here is technical analysis and fundamental analysis, they started creating robots FA plus TA, okay? Uh, but in, in the meantime, a uh, second generation of robots was uh, primarily, uh, you see, uh, based on, uh, let's say, this is a profitability model, this is a valuation model. We are planning to release more fundamental analysis uh, robots uh, if you're interested only in fundamental analysis. Okay? Now, if we click here, this is a both a TA and a FA. Okay, and uh, uh, the same thing. Okay, so you can look at the let's say main stats, and then uh, look at the uh, descriptions, and then uh, some of the uh, parameters. Okay, uh, oh this yes oh this is a profit factor one point nine. Is it does calculate uh, stuff right? And uh, uh, what I like uh, uh, when I look at the robots, I kind of like this type of lines. Uh, this is one too uh, good, okay? Uh, but this one is, is, is kind of better that uh, we can uh, go and look uh, inside. Okay. This is no open trades. Uh, if we want to look inside, uh, five days, you see? So you ultimately can find the robots with their duration, uh, which are um, longer or like as long as you wish, okay? And uh, it is uh, not a uh, bad idea to find what is suitable for you, okay? So we applied like seasonality patterns, fundamental analysis, all kinds of effects. We applied group analysis, and it was all uh, aggregated into this type of uh, approaches, okay? Um, so that means the third generation of our robots was uh, a combination, okay? and. Uh, uh, that's 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 what I showed you. Okay, so recently, recently, what we did, we added here additional kind of uh, I call them cross sections. So, for instance, if you like to find uh, uh, all robots which are trading finance only, you click here, and then you find the financial sector. Okay, so that means this robot kind of trades only financial stocks, okay? Uh, if you would like to find, uh, uh, let's say, high tech. So you see, we show you this ECTA and FA, and this is a high tech, 47% main stats, uh, <clears throat> see, profit factor 1.3, profit of trades 56%, uh, it's it's not bad, okay. Um, so uh, if you, for instance, want to trade only popular stocks, this is a uh, uh, also another way of finding uh, good uh, robots. It's a popular stocks. If you want to find more or less diversified, uh, okay, it's not. We're gonna publish actually uh, this week or ne next week more diversified uh, robots, okay. Um, so view details, oh, you see, not bad. Uh, two positions there in the positive territory and show all stats. And then you can, you see three days average duration and uh, short position 61% is pretty good actually. Okay. Um, what else? Okay. So these are the robots, and as you can see, all of them based on the intraday data, okay? But for beginners, we actually used our daily signals, okay? And uh, if you look at the description of this type of robots, as you can see, uh, 
that uh, we uh, suggest to enter only in a particular time, okay? And then there are some uh, stop losses and uh, uh, profit taking uh, position, let's say uh, 3% and then uh, average duration two days. Um, and uh, it, it turned out that our daily signals uh, are not really bad, okay? And uh, we created robots uh, based on our daily signals and actually going to continue to do so, okay? Um, in fact, what you can do, guys, you can create your own robots. How? Okay? So you can go to the homepage, you see right here, and then subscribe on the daily signals, not on robots, but on daily signals. And then, as you can see, uh it is uh, we now publishing in this type of uh uh whole watch list uh whatever you want to uh, analyze okay so for instance if you want to add let's say facebook it's not necessarily uh do i have a facebook here no okay oh it's meta i have maybe it's this stuff microsoft let's say Microsoft. Okay, so I'm adding Microsoft. Okay, and uh, you see Microsoft. It's wait for signals. Okay, um, let's look at the uh, signals with the uh, ETFs. Okay, with ETFs is doing really well. Uh, you see on the daily signals, Spider, SMH, and semiconductors, and some other ETFs, uh, crypto. Uh, it's also not bad, okay? So you can use our daily things that actually create your own robot, okay? And that's what uh, is also based on FATA. And uh, it's pretty good deal. We're actually thinking to increase the price on the, uh, our daily signals because they're becoming more and more popular because we simply kind of giving you a watch list you can create and you pretty much create your own robot okay right here on the very uh, first uh, home page okay but uh in the meantime uh what what we have we have uh, opportunities to uh for you to subscribe these robots but as soon as you subscribe uh to robots we give credits and from these credits uh, let me do like that i'm going to log out just for the sake of uh, demonstration and then go to pricing okay <clears throat> so if you get one robot, you actually get $60 credit. So that means you can pick up other products. So for instance, if you like pattern search engine, you can have it. If you don't like, you unclick. And what's left, trend prediction, I'm going to unclick it, right? So that means uh, you still have $60 um, credit, okay? But let's say you like... Um, so let's see uh is there a screener okay and you like time machine okay boom so you still have 90 dollars uh but you get uh other products okay pretty much for free okay uh if you subscribe to the annual plans you get 40 percent off okay when you select uh then there is an uh, option to select uh, annual payment and you're done uh and you get for 40 40 percent off okay so actually yes we actually <laughs> uh interestingly enough we found uh that some people kind of say oh you guys have now too many products we created the page which allows you to see who you are and what products we recommend you to subscribe okay and uh, quite a really a good page uh, we call it find your way look at that read and see who you are your swing trader day trader active investor passive investor and so on okay it describes who uh we are okay so we're a bunch of uh, like uh, mathematicians programmers who are creating these robots and really publishing uh the results uh, 
and all the trades made automatically okay now our next uh milestone is to connect all these robots to the brokerage accounts We're working hard to make it uh, uh really stable and approximate time of that i think is going to be um, i guess sometime in the, in the second quarter that's what i think that's uh, it, it it really takes a lot of dedication and a lot of uh testing to make sure that it's going to work uh really well okay but our robots already showed great progress but actually by the end of this month okay by the end of this month we're going to be releasing these so-called virtual accounts okay so we already released one uh but that's a kind of more on the testing side uh what is a virtual account versus signals only when we release signals only we kind of uh, don't care how much money we're trading but on the virtual accounts you can select such virtual account and follow that we are let's say going to be virtual account for fifty thousand or for thirty thousand or hundred thousand two hundred thousand million and then the robots are going to be trading a specific amount and that way you're going to say oh okay I like that robot for 50,000 and that's going to be different algorithm also attached to that and then it's going to be exact amounts uh, these uh, virtual accounts are going to trade okay but that's coming up soon I hope we're going to start releasing them at the end of the February okay a lot of testing going on and uh not end of February but kind of within the February I hope we're going to release quite a few of them please uh, follow up and then uh, watch them and then the next one is the real money so we are going to be connecting our brokerage accounts then showing off our results and then you connect that too okay that's the plan please let me know if you have any questions in the chat um and then I'm going to be able to answer whatever you interested right now okay uh if you guys uh, don't have any questions that that's fine you can always contact our customer support and uh, you can uh, uh actually have a one on one uh, session uh which is uh available uh, and if you don't have questions then I will then close this presentation you're going to be able to get this uh, recording uh, later in uh, our uh, library okay okay thank you for participating and good luck with your trading and goodbye